So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Fridays and new tax function every Friday. And in today's Tax Fridays, I'm going to show you how you create the financial time graph that shows the growth of the um, uh, virus by country. Okay, and uh, this has been inspired by Mark that told me on the comment box from the Wednesday video that he was trying to do that. So I'm guessing that other people is trying to do the same, so let's do it, okay? So this is what we're going to try to do. Uh, what you can see here is a chart that has um, the number of days since a country first have the first hundredth case. And then you can see the total number of cases. So it's basically trying to show the growth by country. And you might wonder why do it this way. And it is actually a very clever way to do it because each country has a different spread rate a spread, a spread date depending on when people got infected so this is a way to get a baseline in this case the baseline is when a country hits 100 cases and then see how the growth goes from there this is also really useful for example in measuring marketing campaigns or measuring like performance of stuff that happens in different uh, like product launches so what happens after a product has been launched after 100 days and compared with other products launched at the same t period time so it is basically a very very useful um, uh, tool or a metric so let's i'm sure you how to do it with the, the this uh, pandemic and then you can apply it to other stuff are you ready let's get started okay so this is what we're going to do i'm going to use the same uh, data set that we used on Wednesday's video, there is a link down below to the video and to the file. So you will be able to get both if you want to practice. And what we're going to do, I'm going to do it in two steps. So first, the first thing we're going to do to be able to calculate and to create that graph is to understand what date each country has the first hundredth case. And once we have that, we can subtract that date with the entire date. Uh, of the data set and then we will get uh, our days series okay let me show you it, it's just easier so we need to do this as a calculated column because we are going to use the days uh, in a plot in, in a graph in the axis and for that you need to have it as a calculated column so the first thing, thing we want to know is the date where the hundredth case for the first hundred case and uh, this is how you calculate it you go calculate and then we want to have the we're going to fit it a table with countries and cases and then we want to have the minimum so the first date of that table that we're filling and the date is going to be overall Make sure that you pick the date from the overall cases, not the calendar. So the table that we're going to, to give it, as we said, is we're going to filter by... Um, we, we, I want to do this by country, but you might want to do it by region. If you just want to know how it's developing in your region, do as you like, just change here instead of country, pick region, okay? So we're going to do overall cases, overall country equal earlier so it's like go through the um, go through the table for country so grouping country instead of going through regions go by country and uh, once we have that uh, I need another parenthesis to close that we are going to do with where the conf confirmed cases is bigger than 100. So again, we have a table that we go by country, not by location. So we go group by country, some get the cases where the overall cases is over 100 and give me the date, the first date. That's exactly what we want. Let me show you. So let's pick a country. The, doesn't have, I know for example that Sweden has over a hundred cases and this is sorted 
Um, you can see here that it says the 6th of March it was the first time that Sweden hit 100 Ks. Let's see if that's true. And there we have it. Okay. So now that we have the first case, the only thing we need to do is to divide, uh, so subtract these from these, and then it will give us a time period. Let me show you. So now we're going to have put this as a variable. And we're going to do the return, return can't write. Okay, return and then is date diff. We're going to subtract the dates, right? So uh, date diff case overall date by date and you'll see what happens now we get numbers and then we have uh, so china is zero obviously and then it starts from the hundredth case zero one so here we have zero zero for um a hundred and then it starts one, two, three, four, five days. Cool. Huh? Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. Now that we have our date, we're going to put the country and we're going to put the total cases, the confirmed cases. I think this is confirmed cases, right? Yeah. So we're going to put this as a line chart. And we want to have country as a legend. Just like that. And then country as a legend. And then we want to put a filter where the date is greater than, greater or equal than zero. There we have it. And then to be able to have it as similar as possible, they have here up to 30 days, so it doesn't spread too much, more impactful, for good or bad. So we're going to do that is less than or equal to 30 days. So the first 30 days after a country hits 100, and then you have the possibility to the way they've done it, do it logarithmical. Right, and then it you can see it better. We're going to um, go in here, put country as slicer. Let's do this a drop down. And then uh, search and remember that the idea of all of this is to actually be able to flatten the curve the way that for example this is the cruise ship I think so not so interesting but let me show you so here we have China uh, what other did they had uh, China Korea Japan Korea and Japan were some of the countries that had actually managed to flatten the curve pretty fast. And it is quite neat that here they have explanations of why they think they have actually done that. And then we have Germany, Europe is in trouble at the moment. You can see Germany, how it's growing, you see Spain. Italy and then you can see for example Sweden Denmark flattening the curve Norway they were also in a lot of trouble and you can see it's in the, the Nordic countries they have what it seems here flattened the curve but 
we don't know which cases are reported. People are not being tested as much as they should. So this is just known cases. Bear that in mind, please. So this is how you create the chart. So if you want to, instead of having the hundredth day, do you want to have the 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 five hundredth case or the tenth case? You just create a parameter and change it here. Okay, so that will allow you to do that. So again, as I always said, please make sure that you think twice before publishing information about this. Make sure that if you do, you can do it like this from uh, trusted sources that you know that the information has been checked by experts and um, stay safe. So I'll see you again on Monday with another video. Until then, as always, take care and bye bye.